my installation or tuition tutorial to fit a UK TV kayaks plug onto standard cable. I'm using PF100 copper cable so it's a decent grade and I'm using the Stanley knife. So first thing is about 20 odd mil back on the insulation there. I'm going to score around the outside and remove that out to PVC. Left with that copper braiding which I'm going to peel back and give it a twist. Okay. So next we've got the copper foil shielding. So I'm going to score the outer of that foil shielding or just nick through it and remove that as well. So I'm left with the foam inner insulation there and my fray peeled back. So I'm going to cut through that foam, twist that off. And I'm left with a small bit of copper core there. So I think the important thing next is that none of that fray is touching the copper core. If it is, that's going to destroy the signal straight away, short it out. So that copper core, I'm going to give it a bend there. Take my TV plug, I've got a decent quality aluminium plug. And take my screw section off, put that over the cable first. Got the crimp section next. Make sure it's open sufficiently to go over the cable first. It should just go over like that, and I'm going to give it a quick twist round over the braiding so it's making decent contact. So, then the last or final part is that's the inside tube, what the core is going to be inserted into. So, I insert the copper into that tube. I can feel it's made decent contact there. So I should get good signal. So last part of the coax plug and the screw part at the back together like that. That will tighten up the crimp and make it nice and secure on the cable. And I'm left with a well fitted plug on my coax cable. I haven't got a frail hanging out the back and I haven't got a copper core protruding out the front. And that's it. If I was doing the same thing with wire cutters, I'd take my wire cutters gently onto the PVC there and score around the PVC, remove it, fray back again, twist it around, nip the foil off, and gently just squeeze and twist around the inner PVC, whip that off. So I'm left with the same thing, bend in the copper core, screw part on first, then the crimp over the fray, quick check I've got no fray touching the core, into the tube like so, give it a bend again, and I can feel the contact in there, and screw it together, but it is neater I think with the Stanley knife, and I'm aware some people, or used to, Sold of the copper core to the plug, but if I'm in an attic, I don't have time for that. And the other way of doing it is crimping the tube onto the core as well, but I'm not keen on that because it doesn't often make that great a contact. And that's it.